The people that you are afraid to fail in front of are also the people that have never tried the thing that you're so-called failing at. I'm talking to the ones that feel stuck in life. I'm talking to the ones that need help getting unstuck. I'm speaking to the ones that do not understand the power of intentionality. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. You are going to have up and down. You are not always going to be able to make the type of money that you want to see. But if you are not realistic with yourself, if you cannot adapt, you will fail. And if you fail and sit there, you will never be successful. Change your perspective on failure. Failure is literally learning what to do right. What else can I do that will get me into where I'm trying to go? You must fail because you have to teach people how to come out of the failure. So if you do not come out of the failure, you will not be able to teach people anything and people will not come to you for anything. Hear me. today to talk to y'all about entrepreneur versus an entrepreneur. How the two differentiate, how a lot of us start off as an entrepreneur. 12 years ago, I, at the age of 12, I literally started doing hair. When I first started doing hair, it was literally because I loved doing it. When I went to college, I became an on-campus hairstylist. I got well known because of the fact that I can do hair. Then people started asking me where I got my hair from and I started buying and reselling hair. That's where my whole business headspace came from. I didn't know about business at all. I made all this money, but I didn't know what to do with it because one, at the time, I had just lost like 107 pounds. So you know, my wardrobe went from, oh, that's kinda cute to, ooh, where you going? <laughs> right? At the time, I didn't have the full capacity to understand what to do with $7,100 in a week or uh, a thousand dollars in a day like what a college student what, what i'm supposed to do with this and i didn't have i didn't have that like mindset yet i really didn't so let's fast forward to after graduation after i graduated and everything i was still kind of doing hair and holding hair and that's when my creativity would come into the loop i was like i want more money what can i do i was selling a whole bunch of stuff and there was no entrepreneurship servicing Yes, I was teaching people business. Yes, I was teaching people graphics. Yes, I was providing these things. But I was an entrepreneur. So I was operating in a space where I was looking for money. I had bossy vibes. I had a full-time job. I had a hair company. I thought I was supposed to be doing all these things in this season at the time, right? So I started this business, I believe in 2019, and it was going good. Like everything that I touched turns into gold. Everything that I touch prospers. Everything that I touch and that is surrounded by me is successful. I believe that with my whole heart, okay? So Boxing Vibes, at the beginning of Boxing Vibes, when I first started it, it was making money. Like I was selling out of bags, I was going to shows, I was doing pop-up shops, all of these things, right? But at the same time, I was guzzling money from my full-time job funding this thing that I thought I wanted. Again, I was a entrepreneur. Like, I wanted the money. I wanted the, the income. I spent, I had like a $15,000 loss just pouring into these businesses that were not giving me $15,000 back, right? So I'm sitting here, yeah, I'm making a little money over here, a little money over there. The type of person I am, I want to make a million dollars a year. Eventually, I want to make a million dollars a month. Then I want to make a million dollars a day. That is where my head is at. So when I became an entrepreneur, I realized that I no longer want to be busy. I want to be productive. And what is not producing, I am willing to let go of. And then I get into a space where God is like, I want to do bigger for you. I want you to have more. I had to dissolve my business, Bossy Vibes, because the tax, the person that did my taxes wrote off too much losses on Bossy Vibes and it detrimented my debt to income ratio to purchase my first investment property. 
So it was either I had to dissolve Bossy Vibes or I had to prove that Bossy Vibes made enough money to add to my debt to income ratio. And because I could not prove that, I dissolved Bossy Vibes. Do you know what a person that does not know what they want and that cares what validation they get from society would have done in that situation? Oh no, I, I can't because I just, I have a whole theme song for that. Like, no, like, I can't dissolve my success. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Who? I have a whole investment property, brand new construction, modern home. I walked into this property with 20,000 equity. That is nothing but God. That is out of obedience, okay? Personally, and I say this with my whole heart, you cannot be afraid of failing. The people that you are afraid to fail in front of are also the people that have never tried the thing that you're so-called failing at. So leave the entrepreneur and start working on what it, what it takes to become a kingdom-based entrepreneur so that you can have more than what you ask for. Figure out what it is that you want out of life before you figure out what you want out of business. The decisions that you make right now are going to help you have a vision where your business can take you there. Your businesses can get you to this vision. If you don't know what you want later, what you do right now is in vain. What are you doing it for? Why am I getting on YouTube? Why am I talking to you? Because I know I see myself on big stages. I know the power that I have within myself. So I'm going to speak life into you because that is what I'm passionate about. I am passionate about mindset shifting. I am passionate about helping someone else. I am passionate about teaching people how to make money based off of who they are, not who they're trying to imitate. You cannot imitate someone and expect people to love on you. I'm talking to the ones that feel stuck in life. I'm talking to the ones that need help getting unstuck. I'm speaking to the ones that do not understand the power of intentionality. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. You are going to have up and downs. You are not always going to be able to make the type of money that you want to see. But if you are not realistic with yourself, if you cannot adapt, you will fail. And if you fail and sit there, you will never be successful. Change your perspective on failure. Failure is literally learning what to do right. What else can I do that will get me into where I'm trying to go? You must fail because you have to teach people how to come out of the failure. So if you do not come out of the failure, you will not be able to teach people anything and people will not come to you for anything. Hear me. A entrepreneur is a person that does not know what they want outside of money. An entrepreneur is a person that knows what they want and have a vision that comes with money. You think uh, Mr. Bezos, Amazon, you think he saw Amazon like this? You think he woke up in the morning and say, I'm gonna have Amazon Prime. I'm gonna have, um, this is how, exactly how it's gonna be. I'm gonna have trucks that are, no. It was a gradual thing, but he had the vision to see what it could possibly be. He may have he may have thought about Amazon Prime and all these things. He didn't know how it was gonna happen. He didn't know it was gonna be like this, where you could walk into Kohl's and Amazon has its own section for returns. You think he knew that? No, but because he had a vision, he held on to the vision and the right now did not matter. That's something that going into 2022, you need to understand. The right now, it matters a little bit. Where you were yesterday is not where you're gonna be today, right? So as a entrepreneur, you have to get out of these spaces of expecting it to happen right now. Relax, chill, baby. I pray that this helps someone because I promise you, with me being able to know the biggest difference, now I can say I'm an entrepreneur. I can gladly say so. Why? I have assets. I'm running my business properly. Like a entrepreneur does not have payroll. An entrepreneur evaluates what's in front of them quickly. If you have not gotten Drowned to Float, the book that I've written, this is in the book. When you know what you want, you can make quick decisions. You ain't gotta be asking all of the world, should I, should I? Ask God, God will show you, get to work. A entrepreneur is going to wait until something reveals itself, which is fine. 
but they sit in that and then they lose hope and then they lose drive and then they lose motivation. So I say all this to say, if you're somebody that wants to be an entrepreneur, like you actually want money, you want to see the money, you want to cash flow, do the research. Pay these people that are giving you information if you trust it, okay? And one big piece of advice, don't, do not just jump into a course or something because they have a lot of followers. Hear me, <laughs> hear me. Because I pay for a lot of stuff from people that, oh, she was on this um, podcast, so I trust her, or they have her on here. They don't have time to pour life into you, okay? There's only one person's course that I've gotten that I'm like blown away by, by the effort and the intentionality that she put into her work. Shout out to Kiara, coach for the host. I was already doing Airbnb. I was already doing real estate investing and I still got her for it. Why? Because she poor, she wants to know who is learning from her. She appreciates it, right? So, I, so understand that if you are an entrepreneur trying to get it out here, don't just do something because it's cute. Do something that's gonna change somebody's life. Do something that's gonna, that's gonna serve a purpose. Do the work within yourself first, and then become an entrepreneur. Understand that your health matters, your, your the way that you wake up and go to bed matters, your intentionality, your principles that you live by, all of these go into being an entrepreneur. It's not just about money. I don't know any entrepreneur that's getting money like, that doesn't spend time praying, or that doesn't spend time pouring into others, or that doesn't teach somebody something, or that's not meditating, wake up. It is 2022, you need more. You have to have more. Going into 2022, so y'all gonna learn a little bit more. Cause y'all know, if you know me well, you know I just do not like social media. But I love y'all, keep it classy, keep it authentic, and keep it peaceful. I'll talk to y'all later, bye.